said we're all in this together. Hey yo homie, is this shit real dog? How we doing? Everybody, I'm doing okay. Better than I was doing yesterday, but not as good as I'll be doing tomorrow. Inspiring. Truly inspiring. PMA. But why am I talking rubbish? Because this man's an idiot. You see this gentleman right here? He's being handcuffed. Not what, what did he do? Did he have a little bit of marijuana stuffed up his butt cheeks? Nah. Did he watch some football games on an illegal website? Nah. Okay, what, what did he do? Did he, I don't know, buy a box of Cokes and sell them individually? Nah, not as severe as that. It's even better. As you could see, this man, legs. Ooh, God, we're not going to be able to stay on that. But a Taiwan college student cut off his own legs after his friend persuaded him for $1.3 million of an insurance scam. Guess how much he got? And if you're observant, you've probably seen. Go on, use your eyes. 7200 That would have been Taiwanese, um, you know, currency which is not a lot, I don't think. So, as this uh, Colin Rugg puts it, that is the biggest L of the year. Imagine losing your legs, all right, for starters. And look, I'll be honest, if I'm going to cut off my legs, I want a little bit more than 1.3 million, I can't lie. I'm going to be looking for at least five, all right? One leg is at least worth two. So, you know, if you're getting two. And wh where have these legs gone as well? Did he sell them on, like, the black market? You know what I mean? Did he, like, do a little bit of a dodgy dealio? I don't know, I don't know. So he put his feet in the dry ice for 10 hours to give himself frostbite. <laughs> Zhang's friends, so imagine, you know, you think your friends might be annoying sometimes. Imagine if your friend tricked you into freezing your own legs off for a million and you only got seven grand. You'd be absolutely livid. I think I'd, you know, probably run, well, you can't run. I think I'd probably crawl. Can you crawl? I think I'd probably limp over or maybe, you know, roll over, I suppose. You'll be in a wheelchair, which is cool, man. Re real wheelchairs are awesome these days, bro. Especially that guy who got caught being a paedophile in a wheelchair. That's a, That does great for the fellow brethren, doesn't it? But anyway, <laughs> so then they convinced him to get his leg amputated, so... Whisk, Sliced, gone, arrivederci, goodbye, by telling him that gangsters were after him. After getting his legs amputated, the bloke claimed his money from the insurer and he was disappointed to know he'd only got seven grand. That money will now be seized because obviously he's been arrested, meaning he won't be. Night bomb. Hold on, this can't be him because he's fucking walking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what a retard. <laughs> I actually thought that was him. He's like, look at him, he's got arrested, but he's maybe he's actually, they, they're carrying him, they're, they're floating him, you know what I mean? Arms, you, you can't see it because of the bag, obviously, it's covering his, well, his legless legs. Oh, for fuck's sake, Harrison. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, we shouldn't laugh, but if you are that retarded, not retarded, retarded, to listen to your friends over anything, never mind losing a limb. You know, if my friend tells me to, if my friend tell me to, I don't know, do anything, I'm going to be questioning them. They'll be like, yo, why don't me and you go to the park? Why the fuck you want to go to the park, bro? What, what's wrong with you? What do you want to do there? You know, I ain't trusting my homies, especially when they tell me there's a 1.3 million insurance scam. They go, honestly, I swear down, dude, cut off your right leg. It's like Jay from the in-between. Is it's like, well, honestly, dude, chop off your finger and they'll give you a million bucks. Trust me, I did it myself and it grew back. It's incredible. Really? You're telling me if I chop off my finger, they'll give me a million pounds? Oh my god, mom, quickly slice. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, we don't do insurance for fingers. They're, you know, you can sew them back on. Where is it? We'll put it back on. It's like, oh, I've sold it on the black market already. How much do you get for it? Well, I got 20 grand. Some guy wanted to, you know, use it to pick his nose instead of his own fingers. Jesus Harrison, stop it. Stop it. But yeah, let's let's delve into this slightly. So he's been charged with fraud. So not only has he lost both legs, the man's been charged with in there, you know, doing something illegal. Actually done something illegal. And he's only in his 20s, bro. I, like I said, imagine listening to your friends over like little things like that. It's like, bro, seriously, you need to come to Dubai. It's the best place ever. You get there, it's just desert and fucking, you can't drink water. You can't do anything without, you can't drink alcohol, more important. You just gotta, oh yeah, this is great. Oh, Trust me, bro. You should get on this new health cleanse. Yeah. What is it? Well, it's this, that, this, that. And you're like, bro, shut the fuck up. I ain't listening to you about that, bro. I ain't listening, bro. So he suffered frostbite while riding a motorcycle. Again, doesn't quite make sense. Uh, and then tried getting his 1.3 Gs. I mean, fuck. <sighs> Medical staff actually were able to tell that his injuries were manufactured, which is quite interesting. I wonder how they worked that out. Is that his feet had frostbite, there were no socks or shoe marks, and that the injuries were neat and symmetrical. Oof. 
Guys, never watch Dexter. Release the temperature that day between 42 and 62 degrees Fahrenheit, so nowhere near what it could have been in order for frostbite. It's a subtropical region, the absolute sausage. He doesn't even realise where he lives, what the environment's like. If you're in England, bro, you can get frostbite 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Not in a tropical storm, bro. So his legs were amputated below the calf. The case was reported to the authorities, and during the investigations, authorities seized a dry ice white styrofoam box, a plastic bucket, and the boy didn't have the brain to even... Ugh to dispose of the evidence bro number one a wise man once told me the crime's getting caught if you get rid of the evidence no one's gonna find you bro no one's gonna find you and the dude just left it on his dining room table the absolute sausage jesus you now <laughs> Oh my god. Said in the prosecutor said the release Lau suffered losses from trading cryptocurrency and tricked him into signing a promissory note ordering him to pay 800 grand. 800 grand. All the money he got from the payout is seized and the man is off to jail. Who gives a shit? Look guys, this is hilarious. If this was me, well it would have been me. I'm not I'm not thick enough to cut off my own uh, own egg, legs, you know what I mean? You must be desperate to do that like Jesus. All due respect to him i'm sure you know he has some very persuasive mates i was gonna say these friends of his should get in the sales game or something get in the uh you know get in the uh commentary game because uh there's some money to be made there my friend if you can convince a mate to slice his legs off for a bit of cash well 1.3 million but you know seven thousand dollars then maybe you've got a special talent mate don't waste it don't waste it but yeah that's all from me how are you though are you okay are you looking after yourself? I hope you are. Yeah, it's hard out there, but we've got to keep going. We'll keep rolling, boys and girls. We'll keep pushing, and we'll make it to the end, yeah? Anyway, I'll fist bump you through the screen. And, uh, yeah, salute you lads and ladies, everything in between. I'll take care, and you take care. Goodbye. And remember, do not cut your legs off for any amount of money, especially if your friend convinces you that oh, the bloody absolute waffly goffleys. Oh.